Uh, uh, all right. Uh, hello, guten tag. So welcome to join us OpenStack Trade project update today. Uh, I'm Kota Tsuzaki, working for NTT in Japanese telecom company, and has been taking a role of storage PTL since Queen's release. So I'm really happy to share the update today. Uh, thank you for coming. So uh, before talking about the recent storage activity, I'd like to explain uh, what storage here. So uh, this is a storage description. Uh, the storage is a project to prepare the application environment for uh, users. Uh, that sounds like the uh, Nova VM, uh, Magnum Container, Queenly uh, functionality uh, as a service uh, uh, in the OpenStack. Uh, but the uh, characteristic of the storage is that, as you see, it depends on the Open, OpenStack object storage Swift. Uh, so storage uh, can uh, uh, enable users to run their applications uh, inside in the object storage system. So storage you uh, call use the uh, physical environment of the your object storage system. And the reason why storage is doing so is the storage focusing on the uh, efficient computation for data processing. Uh, so basically, the transfer uh, transfer cost, data transfer cost from the storage to the computing environment, uh, like the, uh, is, uh, should be really high. So, and the storage attempts to reduce the cost. So, you can imagine uh, if you want to uh, process your data in the uh, virtual machines, uh, that requires to read the whole bunch of data uh, from the storage system. But uh, if you deploy the OpenStack, you need to uh, cost the transfer cost from storage system into the, uh, your VM uh, using your network. So uh, storage, so when you, you are using storage, uh, you can uh, move your code into the storage system. So uh, it doesn't uh, uh, spend your networking, networking bandwidth uh, in the outside of the uh, storage system. So that's really uh, effective, I think, I believe. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, I would like to uh, introduce some uh, great functionality of storage. The storage uh, is the uh, very easy uh, deployment of your uh, user code into Swift. That is because the uh, requirements to deploy your code into the storage is just uh, uh, upload your code into Swift. So I think so, uh, Swift API is very easy to upload, you know? So uh, if you want to make, uh, make your application, just upload your code into Swift. That's okay. And also, uh, the great functionality of storage is the that code we run in the sandbox. Uh, we are using the Docker container uh, inside of the Swift. So, uh, and uh, that basically doesn't support any uh, reachability of the network to outside of the container. So, uh, that uh, sandbox is purely safely uh, from the your storage system. So, uh, storage. Uh, attempts to save your storage system environment, and you can, uh, 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 you can deploy your code uh, uh, very uh, uh, safely. And uh, this is the current uh, storage uh, state of the contributors. Uh, the project is starting from Aaron Rom, the who is the previous PTA, and we contributed, NTT contributed to improve the project. So uh, the half of the contributors is still NTT, but the point I'd like to focus on uh, in this slide <laughs> is the percentage of NTT is decreasing from the past presentation I had in the Vancouver. So that means that the other contributors is coming into this community. So I think that shows uh, being good health in the open source community project, I, I believe. Then, 
okay, you understand the threats, how threat works, and the current state of the threats. So uh, in this slide, I'd like to explain the, uh, what's changed in the Rocky list. Sorry, this is the not so much progress in the Rocky list, but the, uh, basically, uh, we are, that is because we are focusing on the, some Python compatibility in the storage project. Storage have some code uh, written by Py2, Python 2 in the previous week. And uh, in the Queen's release, uh, we are developing, uh, moving the code from Py2 to Py3 compatible. But uh, still, uh, in the low case, we need to improve the Py3 compatibility. And uh, basically, we finished at the Py3 compatible code uh, in this rocky release. But the note is uh, uh, that is only server side currently. Uh, so that server side, that means the uh, storage, uh, storage project inside of the uh, uh, as a provider that works with the, the Py3, but uh, we still need to change some uh, from Py2 to Py3 is a couple of things. One is Swift. Swift requires to be Py3 compatible to work on Py3 environment. And the other thing is the uh, storage still uh, uh, storage doesn't support user-defined Py3 uh, code. So Threat is basically uh, supporting the two languages, uh, Java and Python. But uh, uh, currently, uh, the Threat invoked the user-defined code as Py2, uh, Python 2. So we need to still uh, improve the uh, logic uh, to uh, um, user can choose uh, what runtime uh, you want to run uh, with the Py2 or Py3, uh, we, need, we still need to uh, be updated at uh, that point. So, and then uh, from here, uh, I would like to explain what we can expect in the stain list that is starting from the uh, last September PTG. So uh, there are uh, three things I would like to expect to improve. <laughs> the one is the, the first item is, uh, was from the OpenStack community mailing list in the September. So that's uh, March output with a single input use case. So uh, that's so interesting that uh, I think the mail also uh, wants to deploy an application that saves March object by single object put in the storage system. For example, uh, the users in his work want to store objects into ob OpenStack Swift. Then also they want to create a couple of objects. Uh, one is the low, uh, just store the low object. And then the other is the uh, compressed object. So they want to a couple of objects in the Swift. And then uh, start currently, uh, sorry, um, Currently, Storage supports multi -stream, uh, multi multiple stream input uh, and uh, store the single object. Uh, that use case is the sort of uh, comparing the different of object or uh, merging the multiple object into a single object. Uh, but the multi object approach, that means the multi put of uh, a multiple object storage uh, is not currently supported. So uh, to apply uh, his use case, we need to improve the, uh, our storage, uh, uh, like the, that fork. Yeah, uh, so I would like to uh, follow up the, uh, the new application model. Uh, so I'd like to encourage his work in the storage community and hope it could work by the end of the stain release. Uh, that's the uh, first item. The second one is the uh, important thing to, uh, really important thing. Uh, since storage prepared the environment, the user code run inside in your storage system, uh, we should think of the security risk and performance uh, considerations. Uh, speaking of the performance, I don't too mind, I don't think to mind that because uh, modern container runtime support uh, 
for the resource management. Uh, like LAN-C limit the Linux resource like CPU, memory, so we, you can uh, set the, some uh, resource management tools uh, to uh, limit uh, user environment. But the uh, security risk is uh, also uh, is really uh, required because the storage basically uh, run in the uh, container environment in your storage system. So basically, that control the any risks in the con uh, container. But the, as you know, uh, we have some uh, major uh, security incident like the meltdown specter. Uh, uh, so, so, sort of that, uh, we need to uh, make the uh, make make storage uh, more secure. Uh, I think so. Uh, I I'm now planning to uh, uh, employ uh, some uh, land, uh, more secure runtime, like uh, OpenStack Foundation uh, wants to. Uh, make the uh, like kata container. Uh, so I would like to uh, prepare the experience uh, in our uh, storage community uh, for the kata container use case. And the last thing is the just what I said <laughs> in the previous slides. We would like to uh, support uh, Spicy for user defined car. And uh, as you know. Uh, uh, perhaps some of these uh, you know, threats uh, really looking forward to con more contributors in, my com uh, in this community. So in beyond the stain, I would like to improve more uh, threats actively in the OpenStack community goal. And uh, if you can, uh, if you want to uh, uh, get more, di uh, more uh, information. Uh, Search is now uh, in the project navigator that, in, that was in the Loki, and uh, Terry uh, is very uh, helpfully managing the this uh, this one. Uh, and uh, currently, Search is clearly uh, in the add-ons for Swift. That's very clear information for uh, users. And uh, uh, this one is the how to give feedback or contribute. Uh, so we have the uh, OpenStack Stories channel and mailing list, I can see. Uh, if, and if uh, you want to, uh, some stuff you want to improve in the stories, I'm really welcome to, uh, if you contributed in the stories project. Thank you. Questions, or it might be uh, we are learning out of time. <laughs> I, I, no, no, we have uh, 20 minutes. Oh, sorry, uh, we have the uh, five minutes left. <laughs> sorry, I I thought uh, 50 minutes. So uh, I should explain more detail. <laughs> Something. Okay, thank you.